Hudson's Bay. The saga of the great Hudson's Bay Fur Company. And of the brave men who traveled the untrekked wilderness from Labrador to California, from Minnesota to Alaska. Starring Barry Nelson as Jonathan Banner, Hudson's Bay Man. With George Tobias as Pierre Falcone. White men, red men. Two peoples, two ways of life, two forms of justice. Difficult in the best of times, tragic in the worst. For what may be justice to one may be infamy to the other. Northwest Country, 1824. And I was sent by the Hudson's Bay Company to open trade with the Northern Cheyenne. We're not doing this for nothing, Johnny. I hope Spotted Elk comes to trade. Well, he's been a hard one, but I think we can pull it off this time. All right, Banner, hold it. Right where you are. Come on in, Sam. Ah. Uh... How did you know it was me? Well, I have sharp ears for voices I've heard as often as yours. How have you been? Fine, Johnny, fine. Howdy, Pierre. <laughs> I had a good season trapping. Then I heard you were coming up here. Yeah, we have a chance of opening up trade with Spotted Elk's tribe. Yeah, I heard that. Thought I'd come along, see how it goes. Uh, there's been much dickering with Spotted Elk before Spotted Elk <laughs> would talk trading. And I hope, Johnny, uh, there's nothing that would spoil it for us. Now, you wouldn't be ending at something, would you, Pierre? Well, you know, somebody tries to make a joke or something, you know. Well, what? Oh, well, don't, don't worry about Pierre. He's been working pretty hard on this project, and he's all business today. You know, I don't think he's ever got over my taking away that little Cree squaw he had his eyes on. <laughs> there are plenty of squaws. But this is something that we must be uh, very careful about. I'm always careful. Well, you must have changed. You know, if you hadn't turned out to be such a good trapper... Well, I had a good teacher. <laughs> well, come on, dig in. Give us a hand, eh? All right. I'll get my stuff. You know, that young fellow worries me. I know he doesn't mean anything, but uh, he seems to bring trouble. <laughs> Company men are here now, Jonathan. Uh -huh. Well, you better tell them Spotted Elk may be here any time now. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had rheumatism once, and I took this medicine. Oh. oh, you know, trouble with you. You got a delicate stomach. It is my friend's blood. <laughs> everything must stay good. Food, medicine, everything. Yeah, like jerk beef. Well, even a Frenchman must eat, you know, to live. So he can eat better later on. <laughs> hey, Johnny, they're getting a pretty flag already. If you ask me, it's a lot of foo for uh, running up flag for a bunch of mangy Indians. Oh, I don't know. From what I hear of Spotted Elk, he's not so mangy. Mm -hmm. It's on airs, they say. Ah, but they're all alike. They're coming. Whatever you're thinking, Sam, keep it to yourself. Hey, that's a right pretty little squaw. Shut up. Didn't you hear what Johnny said? Keep your mouth shut. I'm proud to welcome the great chief, Spotted Elk. 
I have heard good words of Banner. I do not know. I say trade fair. I say if Banner does right, Spotted Elk can be his friend. We will be friends. I will see first what you offer. I bring Wild Doe, my daughter, to see what you have for our women. We have much for all your people. Banner brings whiskey? No. We do not trade whiskey. We bring the white man's powerful medicine. The years are heavy on my bones. Whiskey is good. The medicine is better. It will drive the pain devils from the bones. How many beaver pelts for such medicine? None. It is a present from our people to our friends. Good guns, shoot straight. Tower muskets, the best. I give eight beaver pelts. My brother, Spotted Elk, knows the value of good guns. Ten pelts. It is much. Not too much. Hey, you like this, Waldo? It's yours. Well, I'll buy it for you. Woman belong to me. I told you to watch it, Sam. I didn't mean no harm. This man your friend? Yes, he's my friend. He meant no harm. He likes to play jokes. He plays such jokes and there will be no trading. <laughs> now look, I never did like an engine getting on his high horse. Horse? Never mind. That's enough, Sam. <sighs> okay. He meant no harm. I make a present of the glass that looks to Wild O. It is good so. We will trade when the sun is over there on the next day. It is good so. I told you I was worried about that young fellow. I do not often tell you what to do. And I don't often listen to you, so that makes us even. All right. All right, what's on your mind? Well, this Sam Gifford. I can see how he looks. He still thinks of the Indian girl. Well, there's nothing wrong with thinking. Well, you know as good as I do, when he gets a girl on his mind, uh... Yeah, I know. All right, I guess I better talk to him. Tell him I want to see him. Sam? Hmm? Can you uh, go in there a minute, huh? Sure. been putting a flea in your ear? You know, you weren't uh, a big help this afternoon. Oh, that didn't amount to nothing. Quit worrying. Could have amounted to something. Johnny, how long we've been friends? Oh, a long time. Well, in all that time, did you ever know me to make trouble? On purpose? On purpose? No. But listen, uh, you know, sometimes you don't always, uh, when you don't look at things the right way. The right way for what? Hudson's Bay Company? That, maybe your friends, and even yourself. You're leading up to something. Well, you, uh, you, you said you had a good season, and uh, I guess uh, there's nothing to stop you from maybe moving on to 
Ottawa or Montreal, hmm? Be a lot of girls be happy to see you there. I was kind of figuring on leaving tomorrow anyway. Thanks, Sam. I'll see you before you go, hmm? Sure. going. I will keep my eye on him to be sure. All the way to Montreal? Mm, until he gets out of spotted elk country. But you're looking right pretty this morning. Hey, now don't be frightened. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to be free. That will be your last joke, white man. Tonight you die. Take him away. Can't tell a better time than this by the sun. I think we better trade him a watch. <laughs> Johnny, the Indians have killed. He killed a brave over that girl. You sure it was him? Of course I'm sure. Now it will be worse than no trade with Spotted Elk. They're going to walk that maybe. They're bound to. We better get out of here. Right, look, I can't force you men to stay, but I'm not handing Gifford over to the Indians. But there ain't enough of us here to take him back from them. Uh, he made this trouble for himself. Sure, but you know what the Indians will do to him if they haven't done it already. Well, we can't stop them. We can try. Sure, I know he probably deserves punishment, but not their way. Yeah, but he made trouble for us. Right. He's committed a crime against us as well as them. 
But he should be tried according to our ways, not theirs. They've got him and we haven't. Do you know where Spotted Elk's camp is? I know which way they took it up. I've got an idea. If you men will help me, I think I can bring Gifford back. Will you? Will you try? All right, Johnny. Bring the white man. to die? Bring wild dough. We will build a slow, hot fire. There it is. There's a lot of Indians over there. Not thinking about changing your mind. Told us to go over that ledge over there. The rest of you circle around to those trees. I'm gonna go straight ahead. I think I better go unarmed. You know what you're doing, Johnny. I know. All right, Scatterman. Enjoy our joke now. Spotted Elk. I come in peace, Spotted Elk. Is the white man banner a fool that he comes here? I've heard what has happened. I come to take the man who belongs to us and to punish him. He will be punished. Not in your way. In our way. You too are near death if you try to take this man. I'm prepared. But if I die, you'll die before me. You are unarmed? True. But your anger made you unwise. You forgot to post any sentries. There are many rifles aimed at your heart. Ready, men? Take this man, it will be war between us. I will take him, Spotted Elk. And I will see that he is punished for what he has done. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Don't press your luck. I will see that justice is done in the white man's way. <laughs> Well, that wasn't no real. Probably not. Oh, Johnny, I told you how it happened. I didn't go to make trouble on purpose. I know. You think you're going to teach me a lesson or something? All right. Better give me a gun. If them Indians try anything, at least you'll have that much more help. Not likely they'll try anything before daylight. <laughs> I know that. Sam, doesn't it mean anything to you that you've killed a man? An Indian. A man. You're making a big thing of it. No bigger than it is. Well, what are you going to do? What I promised Spotted Elk. Prove to him that we got laws and... We enforce them. I know. You're going to send me down to Montreal for a trial. No. 
No, Spotted Elk could never trust us. He'd think we were just finding an easy way of getting you to safety. I got magistrate's powers here. I'm going to have to hear the evidence and act upon it. Here? Them Indians wouldn't be satisfied with anything less than my life. It isn't a question of what the Indians want, Sam. It's a question of what's right here or in England. You call yourself a friend? Oh, don't make it any... Don't make it any tougher than it is, Sam. This is more important than what you think of me or I think of you. Yeah. You don't care what happens to me as long as the company stays in good with Spotted Elk and you can make some money. You'd have been burned at the stake right now if that's all I cared about. Pierre? There's much going on out there. Coyotes that are not coyotes and owls that are not owls, and they're doing much talking. I know. No, no. I want you to talk back to them in English. Tell them we're going to try Gifford by the first light. And I want spotted elk here and wild doe. Yes, Johnny. <laughs> My daughter, Wild Doe, speaks with a straight tongue. As she says it was, so it happened. Sam, you've heard the charges. First, that you attacked Wild Doe. I didn't attack her. I was trying to be friendly. Second, that you killed the man who came to her defense. What would you expect me to do? He'd have killed me, wouldn't he? Men. You know I represent the law. I could make the decision without asking you. I, I know my own mind. But if any of you has anything to say, it's my duty to listen. All right. All right, Banner. You said you know your own mind. What is it? You attempted to attack a woman. You killed a man. The way the law reads, there's only one sentence that can be pronounced here or anywhere else. Acting under the authority given me as magistrate, I can't recommend anything except the death sentence. You can't get away with it. You can't do it. you? No. Sam. You gotta understand how it is. I understand. You've got to do this to save your own hide. But Johnny. I didn't mean that like I said it. I guess I ought to know you better than that. I've just been trying to protect myself. I guess a lot of guys would die if you didn't do this. And they didn't do nothing to start it. It's about the size of it, Sam. to do what I wouldn't do myself. Well, there is one real charge here. All the rest are powder. You give the signal to fire. All right, then. Ready?
Banner has spoken words of truth. The white man's law is just. Yeah. It is good so. You're a smart man, Banner. Now we will trade. Trade? Is that why you think we did this? The trade? We did it for a reason that maybe someday you'll understand. Someday. <laughs>